Spot Church. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So glad you're here. Welcome to Spot Church Online. So glad you're here. Our small groups are called Lift Groups, and we meet by Zoom Tuesday through Saturday. Check out our website for a list of what they are studying and when they meet. Youth is back in the building. Join us Tuesdays from 7 to 8.30 p.m. for a COVID-safe gathering. Thanks for joining us this morning. Enjoy the rest of the service.
just wanted to let you know that we have started a new series. The new sermon series is called Good Habits. We're starting today and we're going till June the 27th. Hey, I want to meet your family. Can you send me a video introducing your family to the church and make sure to include any activities that you like to do as a family? Send it to Nicole at SurreyChurch.org. I see the earth, but I know people Your love is waiting to catch I'm falling into you dump it full of sawdust. Trisha's wearing her good clothes that she wants to use for work. Now you gotta rake it. Right to the, there we go. Perfect love. Have you heard of the one in heaven? Have you heard how he gave his son? Cause I have found this love. I believe in the sun. Show me your Discipleship. And what is a disciple? Well, that's what we're going to discuss today. So I was looking at the hymn book today, and I found something that totally relates to what we're talking about, discipleship. So I want to read to you two of the verses of this hymn. It says, 
I must needs go home by the way of the cross. There's no other way but this. I shall ne'er get sight of the gates of light if the way of the cross I miss. So it's talking about, I need to always walk where Jesus is telling me to go. I need to walk in the path that would lead me to have good friends and to be a good Christian. And uh, it says that I will never see the gates of light. I'll never get to heaven unless I follow Jesus wholeheartedly. And then verse three talks about this. Then I bid farewell to the way of the world, meaning I'm not going to walk the way the world walks. I'm not going to do the things that what the world does to walk in it nevermore. For my Lord says, come and I seek my home where he waits at the open door. Yeah, it's talking about eternal life. It's talking about if I do what I'm supposed to do down here on earth, then when he calls me home, I'm going to get to heaven. And I'm really excited about that. the CCM girls back with me and we have a couple of would you rather questions for them first of all would you rather have a purple nose or green ears green ears because green, green is a pretty cool color so you can cover them up <laughs> <laughs> you can cover your feet too. a purple nose because people would always be like oh you're cold and they just give you blankets every day no a purple yeah. nose would just be awful. Yeah, oh they, they I thought it blankets. said toes Oopsie. <laughs> oh, a purple nose or green ears, Sierra? So oh, would you? Green so ears. Would you get blanket? Green ears. Okay. Here's a good one. Would you rather drink sour milk, ooh, ooh or eat rotten eggs? Sour milk, because I've done I it before. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, good, Charlie. Because I like vegetables. Okay. okay. <laughs> vegan. I think spoiled milk. I've Spo done it before. Spoiled milk? Yeah. I think right. they're hot eggs. Oh, really? That sounds so gross. Spoiled milk sounds Spoiled. better? <laughs> Bert! <laughs> Would you rather have a magic carpet that flies <laughs> or your own personal <laughs> robot? Robot. Oh, oh no, no, magic, no, no, magic carpet, carpet that flies. Carpet. You can do it everywhere in the world. And you can be friends with a lot of Hey, you can go to a whole new world. Oh! oh Ashley comes up with a whole new world. All right. Woo! It's like a sports announcement. Okay. And on the left, we last, have last, <laughs> last question. Would you rather drink all of your beverages from a bucket or from a baby bottle? A baby, baby bottle. Baby bottle. Baby There's bottle. so much fun. We literally did that at a sleepover. We did. Oh, yeah. we did, didn't we? we? Did. Yeah. Wow. And we drank from a bucket too, probably. Yeah. So much to learn. So Bye, much guys. to learn. Bye. Bye. Makes my heart come alive Suddenly brought to light When I met you Oh, oh you started? <laughs> I'm holding Jarvis! I'm holding oh. Jarvis! I'm holding oh. Jarvis! One, go, oh. <laughs> you say the loading, no! <laughs> I'm putting that in. <laughs> okay, stop! Jake, hold it! Hello! Hello! <laughs> no! Cut! 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 Can okay. we do bloopers? Yeah. Hello? Hey boys and girls, it's me, Sierra, and we're gonna do some exercise together. Okay, so the first one we're gonna do is jumping jacks. So let's see what Jumping squats. So go down, jump up. Head, 
Okay, so you have the next one. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is a push up, just one, because they're kind of hard, okay? Okay, the next one we're gonna do is to stretch out our body because we need to. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, and eyes, and ears, and mouth, and nose. And then down. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Okay, now we're gonna do just some lunges because they're really easy. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down on this leg, you're gonna bend this leg, and then bend this leg like this.
cost for you to play the piano or any instrument? Well, first, you have to buy the instrument. So in my case, I had to buy a piano. Yes, it does take time to find where you're going to get the piano from, maybe, maybe brand new, maybe used, but first you need to have the instrument. Next, you need to find a teacher. Mm, you can't teach yourself because how do you know how to play the notes or where your fingers go? That's something that costs every week because you have to go and have lessons. And then what else do we need? Hmm. Oh, well, we need some music. I got lots of sheet music here and you know that does cost quite a bit and well I also have books because sometimes the sheet music it wasn't isn't always what I want to play so there's that cost and hmm what else oh yeah practice do you know that you have to practice almost every day if not five out of the seven days a week so we've got you need a piano, you need a teacher, you need some music, you need to be willing to practice. Well, guess what? It all costs a lot of money, a lot of time, a lot of effort. Yeah, I started playing when I was five years old and I stopped um, taking lessons when I was about 19. So I did a lot of practicing and it cost a lot of money. But today I can sit down and play the piano. It's so wonderful. And you know what that? That's just the same with Jesus. Did you know that Jesus said the same thing to some people who said that they wanted to be his disciples? Yeah, Jesus told them that if they wanted to follow him, they had to count the cost. He said they had to be willing to take up their cross and follow him daily. Yeah, to follow them, a lot of them would have had to be willing to maybe leave family and friends and to give up things that they normally would have. Well, you know what else? They might even get hurt by some of the things that people would say about them. They sure had to count the cost. But you know what? Discipleship is a lifestyle of walking with God and becoming more like Jesus. A lot of people today say that they want to follow Jesus, so they join the church, and for a while you see them every week, but when they found, find out how much it's going to cost, they tend to fall away and don't come to church anymore. But you know what? Being a true follower of Jesus is not always easy, but it's always worth it if you're willing to pay the price. Well, what do you need to do to be a follower or a disciple of Jesus? Well, quite simply, number one, you need to obey God. Yeah, you have to do what he says and put him first. Prioritize your time and love Jesus. Second, you need to make sure you're reading your Bible. You know what? When we read our Bible, it shapes what we do and how we act. And you also need to make sure that you tell others about Jesus. Telling others about Jesus is so very important. So we need to be careful in what we say and what we do. Well, you know what? I really want to pray for you right now. Heavenly Father, it is so easy to say that we want to follow you, Jesus, but it isn't always easy to do. So I pray, God, right now that you would help all the kids, all the moms, all the dads, the brothers, the sisters, the aunts, the uncles, everyone to follow you, Jesus, no matter the cost. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, if we're talking about discipleship, we should look to the Bible. And in the Bible, Jesus had 12 disciples. And what did they do? That's right. They followed Jesus. They talked about Jesus. They told people about what he did and how great and kind and wonderful he was. And they also said to people that they needed to have eternal life. And they talked to so many people about how great and awesome God was and is. So that's really discipleship, following Christ. Hi, Kip. 
right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a popsicle stick. You're gonna get your parents to get a pair of snippers or good scissors, and you're gonna cut off the ends so it's a shorter piece. Then you're gonna take your hot glue gun and you're gonna glue a spot on there like that, and you're gonna stick it on the other popsicle stick so it looks like a cross. All right, then you're gonna pick what color yarn you're gonna use. I think I'm gonna use red, because I like this color. So you're gonna cut a long piece with your scissors. Then you're gonna take that, and on the back of the cross, you're gonna put a little dab of glue. And then take your wool and stick it in there. Ooh, it's a little hot. You might have to get your parents to help you with that part. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna start wrapping it around the cross all the way to the end then you can put a little bit of glue on the end and put the wool there so it's all covered up there just like that then you can cut off a little extra piece and you can get a little bit of glue and just tuck it on there and put it right on the end See, it's all filled up and it looks really pretty. Then we're going to take some more and wrap that around and do the same thing on this side. Just wrap it all around, cut a little bit extra off with your scissors. This wool's not very good for cutting. Maybe I shouldn't have used this one. Anyway, you're going to get a little bit more glue and put it on the end here and wrap that wool around it so it's nice and secure on the end of the cross. And then we'll just trim it off. So now you've done the arms of the cross. Now we're gonna do the long part of the cross. So we can do that again. Get a little bit of glue, put it on the back, put your wool, and start wrapping. Pastor Nicole and I were talking about this the other day, and she said, don't you remember doing this when we were in Sunday school? You know what? Pastor Nicole and I made a lot of these crafts that we've been teaching you and the other teachers. We made them when we were in Sunday school. Yeah, we used to go to Sunday school too. We used to be little just like you guys. Anyways, you're going to secure it all off like that. And there's the top of the cross. Now we just have to do the bottom. So we need a little bit more wool. Let's see, and we'll cut that off. And the same thing, you put a little bit more glue and get your wool and wrap it around. And all the way down to the bottom of the cross. There we go. And then we'll Make sure we don't have glue on our fingers. <laughs> and we're just going to wrap it all the way around. And there. We'll cut that off again. Put a little bit more glue on the bottom of the stick to secure it on the bottom. And we'll wrap it all the way around again. And there you go. You just made a cross out of wool. And there's all the other colors you can use. You could use blue, or you could use dark blue. This was a little bit of thicker wool, so it didn't take too much wool to cover it. If you use this other blue wool, you're gonna need more wool because it's a lot thinner, and it'll take more wool to cover the cross.